Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I have a school, or rather art, supply haul for you. I had my art teacher Christmas today. My big $1,200 supply order came in. Um, I got it all from Triarco Arts and Crafts. Um, don't really have a specific reason why I use Triarco other than their supplies normally are the cheapest out of most places I've seen. And they carry... Um, popular high quality brands such as Prismacolor and Crayola and then um, they have a huge variety as well. So I got a lot of stuff starting with a huge set of ebony color pencils Prismacolor. There are 152 of them I think and they came with vinyl erasers which I'll just add to my collection because last year we bought like a hundred pink pearls so we are stocked up on erasers. Uh, my scissors have been pretty worn out so I went ahead and bought about 20 more and I picked out some different ones. I didn't realize they were different but they're gonna be a lot easier for kids to use and they have thin points. I have middle schoolers by the way so they can handle it. Um, and then I have some silly scissors here. We're gonna start collecting those over the years. Another thing I'm going to start buying, um, hole punchers. I have five I bought this year. We have Elmer's Rubber Cement. I know some people don't use these, honestly. I did not ask, but I got it, and the principal approved it. Supposedly, he read my purchase order. So, yeah. Um, we have clear triangular rulers. Um, I think they're like a carpenter square or something like that. So it's normally called. I find those really handy for drawing, and I know my kids will too. So I bought a set of them, and I'm gonna start. I'm gonna next year. I'll buy a few more and make a class set. A lot of my rulers getting worn out. Um, I decided to switch to clear plastic ones for my 12-inch ones that are used the most, because some of my I have the metal ones, and they get bent pr pretty easily, and they the numbers like wear off really easily too. Um, these, it's like plastic that's feels like it's kind of burnt in there. So hopefully these will be good. And they're pretty, they're a little bit flexible too. And they seem pretty durable. So hopefully those will be good. My 18-inch rulers, um, I just finished off my class set. These are metal. I just chose to make, to f make the class set match. For some reason, I got double order of construction paper. I don't know why. Um, I think... What happened is there's a typo on the purchase order, and I was supposed to get staples instead of more paper, but um, we'll figure that out later. And then it's just all color packs of, of construction paper, and then we got sulfite drawing paper, standard white, got two reams of 9x12, um, hot glue sticks, got a lot of hot glue sticks, and then more paper over here. 12 by 18 of that sulfite drawing paper and then this huge old box is all watercolor paper 20 by 26 which I think I'm going to cut in half of um, drawing paper or watercolor paper rather and there's 300 sheets total in there um, back to over here we are now this year I finished off my class set of yardsticks and just got some simple Wooden ones, um, we don't use them very often, so that should last us a long time. Um, we use white crayons with watercolor resist. And so we got several sets of just white. Um, the other thing I missed over here, these two boxes are refills markers of black and red. Those colors run out the most, so I got some refills to help with that. Down over here, squeeze bottles to help with paint. Um, typically, I have the huge gallon buckets, and having the squeeze bottle makes it a lot easier to dispense. It even allows the kids to do it, even though I normally do it. But and then we got a class set box of just basic Sargent Art um, broad tip markers. Um, this year, I sprang for the class pack of Crayola color pencils. The Triarca ones were doing pretty good, and they had some interesting colors, but... Eh, we want, I want to try something different. So, Crayola seems like a step up. We're not quite to Crimson Color yet, but that's what we got. Uh, our new massive collection of felt. We do a stuffed animal kind of project each year, and so I stocked up on the felt. 
over here. Um, I replaced all of our watercolor, and so I got this master pack of 24 just a brand new little sets here. And each one comes with a full tray and a nice, sorry, now you can see, a nice nylon paintbrush. I found these praying to be much higher quality and to last a lot longer than other brands, so I go with that. And then it came with um, 32 just refill trays. Hopefully we'll be good enough for maybe two years, we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully, because, yeah, it was a lot of money, so hopefully that was good enough for a while. And then behind there, I have replaced our paintbrushes, and I sprung and got the Royal Langen, Lang, Langnickel. Royal and Langnickel. Never really realized how to say that. Um, assortment of the white nylon brushes. These have been the best brushes Ever, at least in my personal experience, and so I went ahead and just got a simple kind of class set and has this awesome gripping handle. And they tend to last forever if you take care of them, so hopefully, they will last us a long time because our current brushes are a little worn out. Um, these blue caddies over here that have stuff in them, by the way, those are new for us too. Um, I bought four last year, and so I bought another four this year. They are kind of pricey from the catalog, I think they're like 11 bucks. And you can get them like at the dollar store, but I have found that these $10 ones are a lot more durable. Um, and so I just, it's a lot easier just to buy it from the catalog than to have to make an extra trip to the dollar store. Um, and so that's why I go for them. I've had some dollar store ones that like handles broke off. It's not fun. Um, we got some scotch tape because we're going to need some scotch tape. And then puffy paint for the stuffed animal decoration. And I got a huge old set of them. And then... I think this is the last thing here. Uh, this video is getting kind of long. I bought a ton of printing ink last year. We got um, we got a brayers and mixing trays and just some ink. Um, so this time I'm restocking all the black ink and we have color ink of this year. Of course, we got the primary color so we can review color mixing. Um, so that's what I got. It's a lot of stuff. I'm not going to get to put it away today because there's just so much stuff. Um, but yeah, that's how we're doing. That's my haul. Trioco, Triarco is awesome. It was, a, I think it was like 1200 something like that. But um, they had a 20% off coupon. And I even double checked and asked if there was a limit. And there wasn't. So we got $250 off, something like that. Thank you, thank you Triarco. Y'all are amazing. Y'all did a really good job this time. I'm only missing two rulers, which are back ordered, which is awesome. So thank you. Um, if you have any questions, leave comments below. If you want to see some totally different kind of video, or if you really like these videos, um, give me a comment or give me a thumbs up. And